further south in Florida, Hurricane Idalia made landfall in Keaton Beach, Florida. This is as a Category 3 storm. Now, the strong winds and heavy rainfall, they're triggering flooding and life-threatening storm surge. Fox's Rebecca Castor is live in Bel Air, Florida, with a look at the effects so far. And, Rebecca, you've been there all morning. Can you talk about how the storm has progressed? Good morning to you both. Well, we had some pretty intense rain about an hour ago with some really strong winds. We're getting a break in that right now. Now, we are about 100 miles south of where Hurricane Adalia actually made landfall, but we are going to see the impacts of this hurricane across Florida's west coast. I'm standing in front of the Clearwater Harbor, and it's low tide right now, and the water is still coming up here past the side. I'm on a sidewalk. Water is usually about four feet. Uh, back from where it is, where it's coming up right now. And this is, we're just over the bridge uh, from Clearwater Beach. And the beach is where they cut off access to Clearwater Beach and most of Florida's West Coast beaches about two hours ago. Just conditions getting too intense uh, for, dry, uh, for drivers on the road, a lot of flooding. Um, so some of those folks who did not evacuate before this storm, they are on their own right now until emergency vehicles are able to get back onto the beaches and start clearing the roads, but we're not expecting that to happen until way later today, possibly even tomorrow, depending on how long this water sticks around here. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, oh, just another question as well, because I know you probably have talked to some residents in that area who are really going through PTSD, dealing with Hurricane Ian, which was so deadly. I mean, some of these people still have tarps over their homes that were destroyed from just last year. What are they saying to you in terms of this storm coming around, this hurricane? Are they really taking this more seriously and a lot more people evacuating? So people did take this storm seriously, especially if you were living in those coastal uh, front properties. A lot of people from Clearwater Beach did evacuate. The hotels closed as well, so tourists had to get out as well. Um, we drove around last night and really didn't see too many people that actually stayed. And fortunately, at least in this area, if you drive just right over the bridge, you go from zone A to zone B, and it was zone A that was an evacuation, mandatory evacuation. Zone B, you were okay. So that was one of the things with this storm is you really didn't have to travel too far to get to safer ground. So that is one thing that we are seeing here that went more smoothly than some of the destruction from Hurricane Ian last year. And Rebecca, we can hear and see um, the wind and the impact it's having on the water and the surge there. Uh, can you just talk about some of the resources that have already been deployed? So Florida National Guardsmen, thousands of them are on standby, ready to deploy immediately once it is safe to start working on those rescue and recovery efforts. They have their high water vehicles that we're used to seeing video of after these storms, as well as helicopters in case there is any major flooding or storm surge where they need to start doing those water rescues. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Stay safe.